Hi everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. It's time to take a look at our week ahead for Thanksgiving week. So before I get into the cards, I'd like to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving that are in the United States. And for those of you abroad, if you've never experienced a traditional American Thanksgiving, I have a neat story I'd like to share on this. Uh, without giving up too much detail, um, years ago, my father-in-law, he worked with foreign dignitaries. And one year, there was an entourage of Japanese dignitaries that were coming over for a visit. And my in-laws at the time were going to be hosting them. And so my father-in-law asked, what would you like to experience while you are in America? And they said, well, we've heard so much about Thanksgiving. We'd like to experience that. Now, they were coming in March, so <laughs> my in-laws ended up uh, finding a turkey, which isn't too easy to do in March, um, but they were able to find a butcher who knew a friend who raised turkeys, so they were able to find a turkey, and she was able to put together a Thanksgiving dinner with all the trimmings. So mashed potatoes and gravy, turkey, cranberry salad. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, green bean casserole, stuffing, and of course the Japanese dignitaries made a special request for American pies. So pumpkin pie and apple pie was served and everyone enjoyed Thanksgiving dinner in America in March. I love that story. Uh, anyway, what's your favorite dish at Thanksgiving? Or what's your favorite Thanksgiving memory? And if you are foreign to the United States, have you ever had a Thanksgiving dinner? All right, leave comments below. Let's get into the cards. Okay, a few things I see going into the week. Um, I do get that it's going to be a mostly good week. I do sense a couple areas of caution off the bat. I was seeing some type of incident, perhaps with a subway. So, uh, and I don't know if it's a stall or just a backup or some type of event. Um, I don't think it's gonna be, you know, a horrific major event, but just might be some slowdowns or something, a problem. Um, I do feel it's um, New York, possibly. So what I was seeing was a woman um, dressed up, kind of warm layers, and she has like the black boots with the ruffle fur around the top um, of her boots. And she's choosing to take the subway she doesn't normally, but decides, oh, I'll just take it this one day. But it's probably not a good decision because there's some incident on the subway. So I was just feeling that. Um, also, another thing I was sensing was something with a, I think it's a cargo plane. And this is back east also, I'm not sure exactly where. Um, I, I just see this huge jumbo jet, and I, so I think it could be a passenger jet, but I'm thinking cargo. Uh, either way, um, some type of issue with the left wing, um, whether it's the left engine or like de-icer, I see delays possibly with airline cargo, so could be delays in that front. Hopefully it's not with passengers, but um, overall I don't think it's too major, but uh, just some caution there is what I saw for those two events, okay. So in looking at our week ahead, I'm looking at the energies that will be surrounding us this week. And sometimes to help me when I put a spread together, I like to get a visual so I can kind of write down and get a flow. And if you picture in your mind an image of a car, now a lot of people are gonna be traveling for the holidays, at least in the United States. And so if you picture in your mind a car, um, I went around like, Underneath the car, we've got the tires. That represents the foundation, the beginning. And then we're gonna go around the back of the car, over the top, and the front. So the back of the car represents the past. The top back of the car represents what we know. Um, and the, the top of the car, the roof of the car, is what protects us th this week. The windshield is what we see ahead. The engine is what motivates us this week and the brakes are what slows us down this week. 
and then we have the ultimate outcome this week. Okay, so those are the parameters of where we're going to be going on our little adventure here with the cards. The first card out represents the foundation, the beginning. We have the Queen of Cups. This is emotional stability, uh, being calm and centered. So that's actually nice heading into the week. I'm sure a lot of people are gearing up to either travel to see family or host family in their home, at least in the United States, of course. But it's going to be a week of emotional maturity, uh, probably dealing with stress pretty well. So that's kind of nice to begin with the week with. The next energy we have for this week is what we're leaving behind in the past. Uh, now this is interesting. We've got the Eight of Cups, and I'll probably I should be showing you these. First here's that Queen, emotional stability, and then we've got this Eight of Cups. This is a sad card of emotional upheaval and change. Now having to deal with it's maybe a sad change or moving away or sadness, but that's that's in the past. That's the energy that's leaving. And that queen is gonna help move past some sad events. So that's actually really nice to have. Okay, next card out. Let's see, next card out is what we know. Now we've got the family card. This is especially relevant in the United States. Because the Thanksgiving holiday is really about family. And so nice to have that Four of Wands. Uh, it's a card of joy and happiness. So that's nice. What protects us this week, we have the World card. This is the card of success. Overall, this is looking to be a pretty nice week. Although there may be a few hiccups in certain areas, this looks like nice energy coming in for this week. That's really nice. Um, okay, what we see ahead, we have another queen coming out. So this queen is telling us that there's something good in terms of what we value, could be financially. So there could be some good news on the financial front for some, that's a good thing. Okay, next card out is the Eight of Pentacles, what motivates us. And this is a card of getting to work, hard work. I'm hearing the word resolve with this card. Like a lot of energy on motivation and resolve to see a final project through, to get things done. Um, and this is like being able to get things done despite distractions. So there's energy on, on hard work, putting something together, seeing it through, and being able to tune out distractions. That's a nice energy also coming through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What slows us down this week? We have the Knight. The Knight of Wands. This is usually a card of taking action, bold moving forward. Now it's interesting, we've got that little volcano in the background. There's been a lot of news about volcanoes lately. So I don't know if that's gonna be slowing anybody down, but this week feels like it's gearing up for a lot of energy, pushing through, motivated to get things done. And then it's like, whew, like this huge, not really a letdown, but like, huh like relief or release or almost like that was a whirlwind. This week is going to be happy for most. It's going to, it feels nice, but then it's like, it's almost over too quickly. This week's gonna fly by, okay? It's just gonna fly by. Um, and at the end of the week, it's gonna feel like oh my gosh, I got so much done and I was able to tune out distractions and get things done that I needed to do. And now it's like, well, now what? <laughs> it might feel like a little bit of a letdown or maybe just feeling like too much all in one big punch, okay? I think on the what slows us down, having this night 
is a messenger. It's telling us that there are a lot of creative projects going on at once. Where do I start? How do I manage my time? How do I budget things? Whew. So underneath this week is the Empress card, a card of nurture, care, concern. This fits so nicely with the rest of this week. This is gonna be a nice week, which is good. Uh, again, there's areas or pockets that there may be some challenges, but overall, for most people, this is gonna be a nice week. Um, it's gonna be a whirlwind of a week, a hectic week, but a week of being able to accomplish a lot and probably much joy in the way of friends and family and feeling connected and staying in a good place, mentally, emotionally, um, and spiritually. It's going to be a good week for most. The challenges again are knowing which projects to put energy into, how to manage time, but I think a lot of it's going to be instinctual and it's just gonna be a, a week of buckling down and getting things done. So nice week heading into the holidays for those in the United States. And I think uh, it should be an enjoyable week overall for most. Okay, that's what I have for this week ahead. Again, uh, just simple challenges relating possibly to subways and maybe some airlines with uh, delays of some kind. But um, other than that, should be a good week. So um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you have a great week and a great Thanksgiving. And we'll catch you next time. This has been Intuitive Edge. Bye for now.